like I said last round, we got Aaron Bell on the 484, his first time ever driving the dragster, ever in life. And he's in the what? What is this, the fourth round? Wow. He's taking on Terry Julian in the left. He's on the 473. Let's go one thinking thou red. Terry Julian was three red behind him, but no true star here. Terry headed to the next round. Next pair, we got Fast Travis Lashley Jr. Taking on. My man, Randy, million dollar folk. Okay, okay. Oh, I pulled it out again, I'm sorry. Put it, put it back in there. Please. Let me take this off of here. Travis Lasser Jr. in the right, Randy in the left. Randy's in, both drivers are in. And they're dead even at the hit. Travis, 19, two above zero, getting it done. Randy gobbled it a little. He's 19 and under. Wow, Travis Lasser, Travis Lasser Jr. headed to the next round. Next pair, we got Mark Kelly. He's on the 448 in the right. Left lane, we got David Hoxie. He's on the 446 in the left. Both drivers are in. Mark, 002 red. Giving David Hoxie the win. He's 30. And way above, headed to the next round. Next pair, we got Tommy Norton in the right lane. He's on a 442, taking on Kevin Bennett in the left. He's on a 458. <laughs> My man Okie Dokie got mad. <laughs> he didn't like I was saying everybody was not was a nice guy and not saying how nice he was. Okie, you're a really nice guy, bro. <laughs> Kevin, you got the star line advantage. Kevin getting it done. He's 11, two above eight. Taking down Tommy, he's 21. 20 21 and two above. Kevin Bennett headed to the next round. Next pair, we got Paul Campanella on the 460 in the right. This is a heads up match. In the left lane, we got William Hamilton in the left on the 460 also.
Okay. And we're back. I think we had to wipe up a little something in the lane, in the left lane. But, as I once stated, we got the Fet Lady, William Hamilton in the left. He's on the 460, taking on Paul Campanella, who's also on the 460 in the right. Campanella laid down 12 on the bye. He was perfect before that. I think he's found. He laid a perfect run. I think he's found the tree. What you think? <laughs> I think he likes this track. But he got a tough opponent right in front of him. Campanella is trips dead three. This guy's been tripped 004, now trips again. William Hamilton turned it 12 red, but Paul laid down three total. Wow. Next pair, we got Sean Langdon, the top field driver. He's on the 430, taking on Kayla Costello, who's on the 471 in the left. Sean got the start line advantage, but can't get it done. Kayla, 21, dead four, laying down 25 total. Sean Langdon, 16, one above four. Can't get it done, he got behind five. Last dragster is Jeff, the bad man, the very bad man, Jeff Sarah. Taking on a competition, well, the bye. He's the bye call. Can we talk about cars being family heirlooms? I know I talked about Mike Donnell's Monza being one of those, and you kind of see those as you go through this car. In the pit lane is a family heirloom, the two girls garage Pinto, e and &E trucking. Been a race car for a long time, Shen, the second generation in it. You know, the late Tony Seals was uh, the originator. Up against Ryan Henry's fourth gen Camaro. We got 42 cars total in this race left. Left lane, we got Garrett Griffith on a 623. Right lane, we got a bad man, Tracy Sons in the right. He's on a 562. Garrett is one of the young guns, but 
He's a bad dude. You don't want him in a you don't want him in the other lane. I'm telling you. He's a great driver. But he's taking on a really bad guy in the other lane, Tracy Sons. I guess something is on the track. It was the sec. Once again, I want to once again, I want to thank our sponsors. Jigs, FTI, Fuel Tech, s and Trailer Ranch for this 50K Tuesday as well. We want to thank the 2.0 race cars for making the making the future of race cars and Two Girl Garage for sponsoring the live stream. We wouldn't be here without without all of our sponsors, but we want to give a huge shout out to you guys. Thanking all of our sponsors at SFG. We appreciate all you do. I know tomorrow starts the um the points the points and I know my man Kevin Brandon is sitting at the top Kevin Brandon is sitting at the top of the points I think he's gonna have a target on his back it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight race Travis Lasseter I think Travis Lasseter the senior is number two I can't wait to see who's gonna get that SFG's number one spot Tuesdays 50k we're about to get this thing started back up once again thanks to all of our sponsors we really appreciate you guys jigs fti fuel tech s and w trailers s and w trailer ranch and and 2.0 race cars making all of this happen two girls garage too can't leave you guys out. You sponsored the live stream. Appreciate that. At SFG, we want to thank you guys. But back to racing. Right lane, we got Tracy Sons. He's on a 562. Left lane, Garrett Griffin. He's on a 623. This is a monster matchup to me. I like both drivers. Garrett got the start line advantage, but can't get it done. Garrett is 14 and a little bit under, giving a win to Tracy, who's 30, dead three, laying down 33 total. Garrett normally don't make mistakes like that, but it's racing. Next pair, we got Travis Logan, who's a bad dude around this town. He's on the 605 in the left, but he's taking on another bad man. Troy Williams, he's on the 551 in the right. Wait and see by car for wait and see by car for Dragster is Scott Crosby. 
Scott Crosby, you're the rating C back car for Dragster. Scott Crosby, you're the rating C back car for Dragster. Troy, with a little advantage. But can't get it done on the double breakout. Travis Logan is 25 and a little bit less under than Troy Williams. Travis headed to the next round. Right now, if you are not registered and are trying to get registered for this race, you can go over to the, to the ladies right now and register in for tomorrow's race. If you are not registered, go get yourself registered in. The ladies are waiting on you. Next pair, right lane. We got Eric Mann in the slow car, 703 in the right. Left lane, we got Gage Birch in the six, six dial flat. 60 -oh flat. Gage is in. Both drivers are in. Both drivers are green. Gage with a little advantage, but can't get it done. It's Eric Mann, it's 15. Oh my, I'm sorry about that. Eric Mann had a little advantage. He's 15, one above three. Gage is 19 and a little under. Eric Mann headed to the next round. Next pair. Right lane, we got Billy Smith on the 609. Taking on Jason Beam in the in the left. He's on the 605. Jason, Jason Beam getting it done. He's 20, dead six. Billy Smith was 30 and a little under. No good. Jason, headed to the next round. Oh, this is a nice matchup here. I've always been a Tommy Pop fan. Tommy, he's in the right lane. He's on a 529, but a bad up and comer. Austin Logan, he's in the left. He's on a 595. <coughs> Austin is always good in Bradenton. I know that for sure. Austin and his brother. But Tommy is good wherever he is. <laughs> wow, Tommy is tardy. Tommy is tardy. Austin, four, dead, three. Taking, the, taking 71. Because Tommy was 79 and a little under. Wow. Next pair. We got left lane. Manu Solar. He's on a 633. Taking on Matt Dadis on a 603 in the right. Matt. He's won everywhere, like I said. He's a bad dude. You name it, he's won it. <laughs> yes, Billy, Billy, yes, it's him. I don't know. Both drivers are in. Oh my it, Man, you was late. You don't be you don't be tardy like that against Matt Dadis. Matt 18. Way above. Getting it done. Taking a bunch. Man, you let go. His first number started with a two, that's all I'll say. Next pair. Right lane, we got Scott Stillens. He's on a 550. Left lane, we got Caroline McCarty. She's on a 591. 
They're dead even at the hit. Who's gonna do it? It's gonna be Caroline. She's been on the tears of late. She's 24, dead four. Scott Stellings is 24 and a thou under taking five. No good. Next pair. Left lane, we got Steve Dweck on a 558. Right lane, we got Mick Rice on a 485 in the very fast door car. Mick turns it 007 red, handing the win to Steve Dweck, who's 15 and way above. Steve is headed to the next round. This should, this should be a good one. Left lane, we got Garrett Griffith who's on a 623. I think he just dropped one of his entries. Right lane, we got a bad man in Anthony Batozzi. He's on a 586. He's always good when he comes. Oh, and it's nasty. Seven to a three. Anthony is three, dead three. Shedding the window on Garrett, who's seven at the hit. No good. Anthony lays down six total. Wow. We have another monster matchup on the starting line. Kevin Pollard in the right lane. He's on the 527, taking on Tracy Sons, who's on the 562 on the left. Wow, this is some crazy matchup. Holler. Two foul red. Heading the win to Tracy Sons, who's 20, one above two. Headed to the next round. What are we doing? That's it. At this time, I want, I need all my dragsters, all dragsters to the staging lanes. All dragsters to the staging lanes. All dragsters to the staging lanes. We're waiting on you. It's 13 in the lanes. I think we got 22 total. You should be here. You know we're pushing this thing, so get here. We cannot, I repeat, we cannot go past 12 a.m., so please get here. All dragsters to the staging lanes. All dragsters to the staging lanes. Scott Crosby is the wait and see by. Many race car shops can say they've been in business for 60 years, but we can. Here at SW Race Cars, we specialize in welding and fabricating, designing and building door car, dragster, funny car, and altered chassis. We provide water jet cutting and other production services. We have several thousand roll bars and roll cages, custom tube bending, fabricated 9 inch forward housings, and rear frame kits. 
We run a full service machine shop and so much more we couldn't squeeze into a 30 second commercial. Give us a call at 1-800-523-3353 or visit our website. For more than a decade, FTI has strived to become the leader in the aftermarket performance transmission and converter industry. We've joined forces with McLeod Driveline Components under the leadership of Top Fuel Funny Car Pilot Paul Lee and now have a larger distribution network, more resources, and more power. Come see us in the pits and ask how you can join the FTI family. It's not cheating. It is the competitive edge. This round. We drive people. We drive bracket racing. Because reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see fuel tech everywhere. Once again, I'm missing about five dragsters. I, I need you here. Let's get here so we can run this thing. Dragsters, dragsters, we need you here. And if you're not, if you're trying to get registered tonight, the ladies are waiting on you. You can go over to the white trailer. The ladies are waiting on you. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. You might, might want to do it tonight. It might be a line in the morning. New entry time trials are at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Just got word from the boss man. After this round of dragsters, this will be our last round of competition tonight for the safety. The track, the track may be going away a little, we don't know, but for the safety of everyone, we're gonna shut down after this round of dragster and continue after new entry time trials tomorrow. We will continue the race after new entry time trials tomorrow. This will be the last round of dragsters of anybody tonight. Starting first day after new entry time trials tomorrow, we'll be going into round six of this race. So after this, no more tonight. Okay, first pair of the first pair of dragsters, round five. We got Jeremy Wilson. He's on a 453 in the right. Left lane, we got Larry Langley. He's on a 477 in the left. Both drivers are in. 
Larry has a little bit of a little bit of an advantage and Larry gets it done. Larry is three dead nine, laying down twelve total. Jeremy, he wasn't he wasn't a slouch. He was eleven dead seven, eighteen total. Got six behind. Next pair. We got Kayla Costello in the left lane. I think she's still double. Kayla Costello is on a 471 in the left, right lane. We got Rick Harbaugh on the 454. Once again, we will not be racing any anymore after this round of Dragster. We will be shutting it down. For the safety of everyone, we will be shutting down the race. After Dragster. Kayla is late. Rick, he's 10. Two above two. Getting it done, taking trips. Wow. Mike, that was Rick. Rick, Rick heads to the next round. Next pair. We got Cal Cotrera in the right. He's on a 465 left lane. We got Paul Skinger. He's on a 459. Both drivers are in. Paul Skinger turns it 10 red. Sending Kyle to the next round. Kyle 16 and way under. Looked like he was holding the bunch. Right lane. In the next pair we have right lane. Jeff, that bad man, Sarah. He's on the 448, left lane. We got Terry Julian. He's on the 474. Both drivers are in. Jeff got the start line advantage and but can't get it done. He's eight, take 24 to be a thou under. Terry Julian takes it down, takes it to the next round. Wow. You never see Jeff make mistakes like that. But he's racing. It happens. Next pair. We got, we got Paul Campanella in the right lane. He's on a 460. Left lane, we got Mike Nahill. He's on a 477. Paul has been tearing the tree down. Let's see as he keeps it up.
Paul with the star land advantage. And Paul getting it done on the double breakout. He's 24 and a little bit under. Paul headed to the next round. Next bear. We got Noah Lewis in the right lane. He's on the 472. Taking on David Hoxie, who's on the 446 in the left. Both drivers are staged. David with a little bit of a star line advantage and David gets it done. He's 15, dead seven. Noah, 22 and a little bit under. Giving the win to David. See you tomorrow, David. Next pair. We got Ty Jones in the left. He's on a 549. He's taking on. The champ, boom, 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 boom. the champ is here. Steve McCory, he's on the 454. It's nasty, two thousand separates the two. Who's gonna do it? Wow, it's gonna be Ty Jones in the floor car. He's 15 dead four, taking down Stephen McCory, who's 17, dead five. Ouch. Nice lap. This is a decent matchup here. We got Doug Foley Jr. in the left. He's on a 453. And Kevin Bennett in the right. He's on a 458. Starline advantage, and, but can't get it done. Got behind a little bit too much. He's two, two above four, no good. Kevin Bennett is 19, dead one, laying down 20 total. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Next pair, we got left lane, Michael Carpenter on the 478, taking on Timmy Smith in the right. He's on the 459. Both drivers are in. And it's nasty. Mike with a 5 dial advantage. Michael Carpenter getting it done. He's 008 dead four laying down 12 total. Timmy Smith with 13 at the hit and locked out. Michael Carpenter headed to tomorrow. Next pair, right lane. We got Patrick Miller. He's on the 481. Taking on Travis Lasseter Jr. He's on the 433. That's getting somewhere. 433. Wow. 
pressure. Baby pressure. I think Daddy Pressure is on the line. Or what's his name? Papa Pressure. It's um, uh, it's no pressure, baby pressure, and under pressure. Under pressure. Under pressure. Under pressure is on the line with him. Both drivers are in. And it's nasty. Patrick with a three thousand advantage. Patrick gets it done. He's four, one above, zero land down, 14 total. Travis Laster is seven, one above, four. Ouch. That was nasty. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Man. New entry time trials at 9 a.m. sharp. Be here at 9 a.m. to get your new entry time trial. And for the racers that's still in the sixth round of this race of the Tuesday 50K, be here right after new entry time trials. We're going to run the sixth round immediately after. I want to thank everyone for coming. Turned out to be a pretty nice event. We appreciate all you guys here at SFG. All you do. We just want to thank you guys. some engines we were rating on the guys that was double I think Kayla was one of them that's it so this is our final pair final pair of Tuesday's 50k fifth round we got Kayla Costello she's on the 470 in the left taking on the wait and see back car Scott Crosby He's on the 468 in the right. I think Kayla just dropped one of her entries. See if she can keep this one in. She did a great job today, no matter what. I think Kayla just won a 50K in the Mockley just last week. Kayla Costello, is, she's getting it done. He's a little behind here, though. And Crosby, he's four. One above zero, laying down 14 total. Kayla, 16 at the hit. Dead one, no good. She laid down a pretty decent lap. Once again, I want to thank everyone for coming. I want to thank all of our sponsors. That was our last pair of the night. I want to thank all of our sponsors, Jigs, FTI, Fuel Tech, S&W Trailers.
S and W and Trailer Ranch and 2.0 race cars for making the future cars of racing and and the Two Girls Garage for sponsoring the live stream. We really appreciate everyone for coming and all of our sponsors. This is Josh from SFG and I'm out. Thank you guys. Good night. Can we talk about cars being family heirlooms? I know I talked about Mike Donnell's Monza being one of those, and you kind of see those as you go through this car. In the pit lane is a family heirloom, the Two Girls Garage Pinto e e Trucking. Been a race car for a long time, Shen, the second generation in it. Uh, the late Tony Seals was uh, the originator. Up against Ryan Henry's fourth gen Camaro. Looking for a high performance? When you want high performance, there's only one place to go Jags.com. Jags.com has the largest selection of high performance automotive parts on the web. When you need high performance, Jags.com has the part you want, when you want it. Want performance? You've got it. Jags! Not many race car shops can say they've been in business for 60 years, but we can. Here at S&W Race Cars, we specialize in welding and fabricating, designing and building door car, dragster, funny car, and alter chassis. We provide water jet cutting and other production services. We have several thousand roll bars and roll cages, custom tube bending, fabricated 9-inch forward housings, and rear frame kits. We run a full-service machine shop, and so much more we couldn't squeeze into a 30-second commercial. Give us a call at 1-800-523-3353 or visit our website. For more than a decade, FTI has strived to become the leader in the aftermarket performance transmission and converter industry. We've joined forces with McLeod Driveline Components under the leadership of Top Fuel Funny Car Pilot Paul Lee and now have a larger distribution network, more resources, and more power. Come see us in the pits and ask how you can join the FTI family. It's not cheating. It is the competitive edge. Okay, that's a wrap. It got late and it got chilly and uh, and we're done for the night. Okay, um, we will pick up tomorrow. Tomorrow at uh, 9 o'clock we're supposed to start with new entry time runs. Then uh, following the new entry time runs, we will begin with, I guess, round six. We have 10 door cars and 11 dragsters left. And uh, so we'll begin with round six, and then uh, then I reckon we'll go into uh, Wednesday's race whenever uh, we finish up Tuesday's race. Okay, we'll see how it all plays out. You know, plans change. So we shall see. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Two Girls Garage Auto Parts for bringing us in and keeping us completely free to you, the viewer, and also to 